Hi guys and welcome back to another All Heart video. So for today we are hitting up a couple of thrift stores and I thought it would be fun to show you the types of items that I usually look for when recreating a Montessori space. We all know that Montessori materials and furniture and just items to make our space nice can get pretty pricey very very quickly. So going to places like thrift stores and antique stores, flea markets, swap meets, getting things secondhand is sometimes a very, very good option. So it should be quite a bit of fun. It's a very, very nice day out. And with that, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. Let's talk about kitchen items like these cutting boards. These would work so well for your child as they are a really, really excellent size. I'm also always able to find child size pots and pans. There's just always a variety every time I go to the store. I especially like the ones that have the little spouts at the ends as it is much easier for a child to be able to pour things out of. Being able to find child size dishes, uh, for them to either eat off of or play off of. And of course, there are always an endless supply of measuring cups and aluminum cups for them to be able to pour things in and out of other things. Now I know this looks really big, but how fun would this be in like a sand pit or just a huge sensory tray? I was also able to find all of these different little wooden utensils that would be perfect for those sensory bins as well. Now let's talk about baskets. Baskets, especially the size, are perfect because they're not too wide and your child is able to see everything that is in there. I especially like the ones with the handles. Now these two are absolutely perfect for storing like puzzle pieces if you're separating the pieces from the puzzle or if they are working on vocabulary and they are matching different items. These are perfect to store those in. And I really like this one as well because it's a lot more structured Structured. So it'd be perfect to store like your child's headbands and hair ties or even their art supplies in the different compartments. Child says furniture is something that I'm pretty easily able to find when I go antiquing. So something like this wooden step stool would work really, really well for your child to be able to grab things from their dresser or sink. This magazine rack, although I wouldn't use it for magazines or books, I would definitely use to store my children's Montessori rugs. And again, furniture like this, very easily able to find and it is a great size for your child. Here's another one of those magazine racks and take a look at this beautiful bamboo bed. This would be perfect for that Montessori bed and you can always adjust the legs very easily and this matching mirror for their little self-care station. This is another one that I was able to find. I absolutely fell in love with this one. It reminds me of something that I would find at like anthropology and again you can customize the size and it would look so cute in your little girl's room mirrors are another thing that i am always able to find and they are perfect for that self-care station now check out this find guys now i know that it says 40 dollars, and you may be thinking wow that's pricey for a chair but if you're familiar with this brand, Community Playthings, each chair is normally over $100. So these are absolutely perfect. I've been able to see these in a lot of Montessori classrooms. So I was just so surprised to be able to find these at this thrift store. I was also able to find the most adorable little rocking chair. This would work so well in that little reading corner so your child can rock back and forth as they are reading their favorite little stories. Furniture is just one of those things that I'm just always able to find. I feel like that is the first thing that people get rid of as your children grow, but I always find such a variety. So if you are looking for child appropriate size furniture, definitely check out antique or thrift stores. 
And if you're like me, just a big DIYer, then something like this would be the perfect project. I know that you can transform this into something very, very lovely for your little room. Now I have something similar to this in our entryway. This is perfect for your child to be able to hang their jackets or their hats or even their scarves since it's getting a little bit chillier outside. And I absolutely love these bins for storing just pretty much everything. So I would store like my children's train sets, Legos, blocks, things like that. And they're just super inexpensive. So they are a very, very good addition. And if you're looking for crates that have maybe different compartments and something like this, I would definitely recommend. Uh, this I would typically use for like art supplies so that I can separate pens and pencils, colored pencils, uh, maybe some scissors and glue. This would be perfect for those art supplies or you can even rest it upwards like this and they can store some of their like little wooden Holtz Tiger animals if they happen to have any. And I have something like this similar in their art supplies and I store just a whole bunch of different stickers. Now let's talk about just some random items that you're able to add to your rooms, such as this extra large abacus that would work really, really well in your math space. I also really like incorporating these little dough bowl trays. Uh, my daughter loves being able to use it for little trinkets and you're always able to find different size blackboards for your homeschool. I especially love this extra large one because it included a little tray that would suit your chalk and your eraser. And I really love little trinket trays like this because it's a lot easier for you to separate different items all at once. And check out what I was able to find, these vintage multiplication cards and math cards these would be a really great addition to that math space as well I was also able to find some different um, stamps that would be really fun for your little art areas and lastly I was able to find these vintage holiday inspired cookie cutters that would work really really well for all of those holiday crafts and that is it, you guys. I really hope that this video is helpful to you. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, and remember to ring that notification bell. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will see you back here very, very soon.